What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie last time. We did some miscellaneous stuff around the Isle of Hags and Spiral Mountain, and we unlocked the final world. Cloud Cuckoo Land. And today, we're going to be beginning it because this is a very, very large level. It's a very large and complicated level. First up, we have this guy. Fancy a little physical exercise for a ball? No really. Yes, you do, Banjo. Right. I'm Mr. Fit. And I'm really fit, I am. So fit, in fact, that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. Okay. So for this guy, I want to see... It looks like for this event we might need Kazooie back, so but I think actually we could do this with Banjo too, but we probably don't have a move right now. Okay. Actually, I want to try something. Can we see below us? Okay, we can see below us. It'll probably have to fly down, but... In the opening cutscene to this world, you could see uh, basically what the Isle of Had looks like from above, which is pretty cool, honestly. Anyway, we can't do anything about that anteater for now, so let's go over here. And we have these flowers, which shoot us to and fro the correspondent area. And we have these drills. Let's drill up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I cannot forget these because I forgot them in uh, Jolly Roger's Lagoon. There's Honey Come Piece number one. And I think there's something else here. I know for sure. Yes. Oh, you've got a strange looking seed. Is it edible? Yeah, well, some are, but. You never know those kids, we don't put weird seeds into your mouth unless they're birdseeds. Oh, well, now we can do them, <laughs> alright. I knew for sure you could do this at the beginning of the level, I just didn't know where it's, uh, at. Well, how the hell did you do that? Never mind. We'll move on to event two when you can find me. That was quick to get over there, buddy. Alright, it looks like he's up, I want to say, on that part of the level, so it's going to be a while before we get to him, honestly. And trust me, I don't blame you if y'all spend a lot of time in this world, because this world is huge. It's really big, the biggest world in all the... I want to say, hmm, I don't know if you count, uh, what was it? Got him, forget it. Wow. It's only been four minutes and I just died. How lovely. Okay, let me try that again because that was not a... Uh, that was not too amazing. Over there, the buzzers are back, or the wuzzas, whatever you got. What was that you called them? <laughs> But I was thinking of Click Clock Wood, yes. I would say this, in my opinion, is the biggest world in the game. We have this giant heart thing that has that has jelly-like substance in it. But I want to jump down here. And... Okay, we have one of those. We might as well get the global while we're here. 
I want to start exploring uh, the middle part of the area first. Or at least as much as I can at the outside first, and then we go on to the middle part because... Yep, it's a lot. We have these flowers which could attack you. Oh! Hey, young man, I'm George Ice Cube. Stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view! I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm up of the icy side. So if you could just give me a little push. I guess so. Oh. No, not do that. <laughs> No! Wrong side! Tell Midrid I love her! Uh... Well, we got a fly pad out of our trouble and some cool water in Hellfire Peaks. Uh, we could just for forget about him for now. Um... Is there something up there? I gotta know. There is a we're under nothing. Oh, a butt. Oh no, did I actually mess up that? Well, that is part of a jiggy, but do I miss the flavor text? I need to know if I missed the flavor text. He's right in here, so. I hope not. The central cave is going to be your hub of the. Uh, world it's where a lot of things can a lot of places in the world connect and disconnect and we have these things I like these kind of enemies they uh they just come out of the ground they sound like a uh, cashier they, that one's holding a wiener okay yeah as you can tell everything in this world screams cuckoo land I know how crazy I like the idea of this just a weird, wacky world full of weird stuff to do, weird places up in the sky. I think that's pretty cool. Now that I said that, I'm gonna hate it because... <laughs> I tend to say a world's cool and all that, and then I start hating it after a while. <laughs> Just look at Witchy World. I didn't... Well, I... Witchy World was... Uh, but Hailfire Peaks, I liked Hailfire Peaks, and then I suddenly disliked it now. Greetings, fleshy ones. Whoa, a talking safe! Correct, Amundo. I am a super stash deluxe four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. The four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, no one likes a wise guy. It's enough up here. Let's have a look inside then. Oh, that might be a problem. I seem to have forgotten my own combination. Perhaps they should have spent a little more time on- or a little more on the intelligence ship. I know. Sorry, fleshy ones. But if you can find the combination, I'll gladly open up. This was- okay, good. I didn't miss the flavor text. I was actually worried that I missed the flavor text since we already got one of the buttons. I just, I didn't think that button would actually take me uh, to start this guy's uh, jiggy. You're going to be running around, c well, as indicated by the last few worlds, you're going to be running a lot to and from, to and from, to and from. So, yeah, we're just going to start things off slow. Try to get as much as we can get done in the inner part of the area. And then we'll start on the outside. Since we already have a flight pad and we can go that way. Oh. Well, that gives me notes. What about... Oh, the safe was there. We have these claw climber boots. Okay, good, there's eggs over there. Because there's another button right here. rid of you and get some clockworky eggs and 
and get our second button. I don't know where the other two are is the question, so we're gonna have to put a hold on this jiggy for a little while. 19. Hmm. Looks to be some sort of olden year. God, I can't believe we're in 2023 already. Man, feels like life moves by too quick. And which it does. As you get older, the more older you get, the more quicker time moves by, which is unfortunate, but alright. Uh, we have some climbing boots here, and there was some at the beginning of the level, so... Let's see where that takes us. Alright, boots. Where do you take me? How far up do we go from here? Ooh, can we make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it? Nice! Uh... Let me see... Okay, then. Let me go back to where, uh, Georgia fell. I am not excited about that. That is one thing we'll do after the boss fight of this world. Someone's in here! Defend your jiggy at all costs! See, Grunty doesn't, uh... Grunty doesn't, uh... Oh. Did that actually work? Oh, shoot. Did it. What the... What was that? It sounded like Donald Duck. Oh, that, that sounded not like double Donald Duck either. Oh my god. Okay, shoot that. Is this a... Oh. oh, I think we could just attack these guys with the... Okay, no, I think that for, uh... That just needs Kazooie, so... Or we could just try to beat be on it. Okay, back here while well, it's down there. I want to see where this plant takes me. Does it take me near Wumba? Because there might be a war pipe. Or, not a war pipe. This isn't Mario. This is Banjo. Or a war pad somewhere around here. If there's not, then that's fine. That's fine, too. There's a bunch of flowers, and that looks like just Canary Mary up here. Oh, lordy. Okay. Let's go back. Because I want to try to eyeball again, even though that wasn't what I was planning to do this episode. Wasn't planning to take on that Jiggy quite yet, but hey, we can, if we really want to. <laughs> if we really want to, we have to, in order to complete the game. Now I'm dreading that canary, seeing Canary Mary once again. I promise I'll stop talking about her for now, until we, uh... What am I doing wrong here? Alright. Okay, what? Did I really miss, like, actually doing stuff? What am I supposed to do for this guy? Really, like, I know I'm supposed to beat, uh, beat bomb him. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, shoot. That's not working. Oh, no, not again. Okay, screw it, we're gonna save the eyeballs for later. Actually, I do want to do one, but real quick, because this Jiggy actually requires a... Uh, a bit of persistence. Oh, no, no, no. Or not persistence, but a bit of a transformation. Yeah, no. We're doing it right now. Almost final transformation. This will be the last time I say yes to you. Oh, he 
One bug called this B. Press A to jump, and A again when in air to fly. Use left stick to steer, and press A to fly higher. Also, press LT or RT for stinger attack. I like the idea of this. I think all the transformations are cool, but the ones that stood out to me when I first played this game are obviously the, the washing machine and the bee. Because the washing machine was just a jet. Uh, uh, is that how fast we could go? Okay, well I guess I'm gonna try and not make too much noise with the button mashing. But the washing machine, which is was just a gag, uh, gag transformation. You could actually do stuff with it, and the B, which makes a return for the final level, same as in the beginning, a ban er, at the end of Banjo Kazooie, but makes a return. Now Zuchis lots and oh shoot. Alright, let's, uh, not mean to actually get that far, or... Your shooting is not good enough. I didn't mean to. Alright. Oh, shoot. I wasn't... Okay, let's, uh... There we go, much better. Oh wow, you can even shoot it from not even the target. Nice shooting when I come inside. We will good be a B. Alright, where is the uh, oh we must enter oh there it is. Gotcha. Greetings. As you can see, we Zubas have a new Z net. Uh, we celebrate a range of low shooting game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to be 50 points, Z, and there's an extra zestful prize for you. I cannot say this with the B. Do you need any instructions? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure this is the same as every other mini game. Alright, let's, uh. Red are worth one, I believe. Blue are worth four, or four. Blue are worth, or we'll actually see right here since it's been a while since we've done one of these mini games. Let's see. Green are worth two, and blue are worth three. Or, er, blue are worth three. Yeah, that's how you want to do it. Same as all the other mini games in this game. I swear, no real variety, honestly. I mean, I know it's an N64 title, but. I mean, they couldn't have changed up the color, be like, oh, you have to think of, like, purple, brown, or white or something. I, I don't know. Just seems kind of weird to me. Okay. Oh, shoot. Come on. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, no, I have four left. Oh, wait, what? Oh, second prize? Oh, I didn't know there was two prizes. Okay, well, I'll take the Cheetah page. Let's, uh, where are you at? Getting some stuff knocked out pretty good if I say so myself now. And let's try it again. Okay, over 50. Something I didn't know was that you could hold down ZR and keep shooting. ZR or ZL, or LTRT, my bad. I'm getting mixed up with the Switch controller. Well, we got over... Come on, let's get 64. 64, I think 65. And we got... The first Jiggy of the level. Nice! This wasn't the Jiggy I was aiming for, but I will take it nonetheless. Now 
I'm good. Okay, now back outside. I want to see. I think it's over here. I think it's down here. Or maybe it's the bee we have to use for the uh, ice uh, eyeballs. Let's see. The central cavern. Yes, this is where I want to be. And I cannot see for the life of me. I hope this buzzer doesn't attack me. Because that'll be unfortunate. We have the, uh, the trouble cleft. That's it's that's the official name of it. I keep I keep making it right, but Oh, uh, okay, and oh we need banjo for this. Just banjo. Okay then. Well at least we got the notes out of the way. We'll have to come back here with banjo. So let me transform back into him. Okay, good. Quick you fall past the jiggy on! So that is what we have to do. Okay, so we'll do this one and then we'll call it quits. I hear you. Aha, there's one of you. I believe that was the one. Okay, then. And the other ones are going to be kind of hard to find, so we'll look around. I think there's one over here. No, there doesn't. But there's the mumble pad, so we'll keep an eye on that later. Uh, if I see any war pads, I should get them while I'm here. I don't see any right there, so... Yes, next will be you, green area. Aha, up here is the purple or purple area. Got three. And man, that is gruesome indeed. I forgot how gruesome some of these deaths are. The freaking eyeball just exploded. That would hurt, honestly. I mean, it would hurt in general to lose your eye, but still, like, damn. God damn. Was there one over here? I don't think so. Now, what about here at the Jello Castle? There's a Jiggy inside, but no eyeball. One over here at the orange area. Come on, shoot it. Shoot, shoot it. Shoot it. Oh shoot, we are almost dead. That is not good at all. Come on, shoot it. There we go. And that's the last one. Or, no. My rare eyeballs, jigging plants. You've killed them all. Alright then. Jiggy number two is ours. Okay, that's, that's really good. Really good if I say so myself, and there's a little area for Kazooie, which is nice. Want to remember that for later? Remember a lot of stuff, wow. I know it's only two Jiggies, but still, wow. That's pretty good if I say so myself. Okay. Let me, uh, transform back. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's all you had to do with the bee. Just those two Jiggies and that Cheeto page. So, that's weird to guess. We already got quite a, like, a good chunk of, uh, Cloud Cocoon Land knocked out already. Okay, then I'll take it, honestly. But with that, I think that's gonna end things off here. So, next time let's play Banjo 2, we are going to explore the outer areas of Cloud Cocoon Land. And do more. Maybe go to that Jello Castle, or... Continue that artvark stuff. Maybe find a move or two and some other stuff. Who knows? I'll see you guys then. Now I'll see you guys then after getting those notes.